What is up, my Squirtle Lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you to a brand new series. Today, we begin our adventures in Pikmin. Or more specifically, I begin my adventures in Pikmin because I ha I'm willing to bet that most of the people who will be watching this know a whole lot more about this game than I do. Now, I know a bit. I've watched playthroughs of Pikmin. Uh, one, two, and I believe also three. I haven't seen any gameplay of four beyond trailers, but uh, I I've seen the game in action. I have. And as for playing it, I've played the first 30 minutes, and then I believe I've also played the multiplayer for two. That's it. That's my entire extensive knowledge of Pikmin. And even those playthroughs that I watched, that was years and years and years and years and years ago. So to say that I actually know what I'm doing beyond just the core basic mechanics of this would be disingenuous at best. So we're going to just be looking at this in a mostly blind fashion. Um, I've always been very curious about the series and I've always wanted to give it a proper shot, but I figured this is my best excuse to do so. So why don't we start by taking a look at the options and that's really just sound and high score is it wow that is uh probably a, like there's less menu in this gamecube game than you'll find in some nes games that's incredible um all right well let's just start now ignore this opening menu here because uh it's not accurate at all i'm in fact going to delete that immediately i played through, like i said i played through the first like 30 45 minutes of this game multiple times uh but that's just because trying to get this let's play to actually go ahead has been sort of a hassle but we're here we're finally playing it and i am playing the wii version yes i am well aware that a switch edition just came out not that long ago to celebrate the release of pikmin 4 but i am playing this on the nintendo wii is and that's because it is the best edition that i have access to i could be playing this on the gamecube but everyone says let's play the wii version there's only really one glaring issue with the wii version and we'll talk about it a little bit later but, with all that said, let's begin. With very ominous music. It's making me want to go play Starfield right now. Oh, oh, hold on. The ship is here. Why is the front panel glowing like that? Like, who does that help? Who is that for? Is, is space traffic? Does he have his hazards on? Is that what it's like? Well, it doesn't look like that meteor gave him right of way. Honestly, Olimar, you totally have a case. I mean, we have it all on camera right here. You were totally in the right there. That meteor cut you off. But I suppose it's hard to file a claim when you are stranded on a completely different planet. Welcome to the impact site, everybody. Where all this begins. And Olimar is in a daze. I'm still going to have to get myself reacquainted a little bit because it has been a couple of months since my last attempt at recording this, but here we go. That goofy news. Oh, gosh! My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded! To make matters worse, my atmospheric senses, uh, worse, my, sorry, my atmospheric sensors indicate that this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no, better not to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. Now, are you saying that the oxygen itself is poisonous or that oxygen is poisonous to you, Olimar? I actually don't know. But here we go. All right, we are playing the Wii edition of this. So this is new, uh... This is the new motion plus version or whatever. I'm trying to see. How do I... Can I adjust the camera to go zoom out a little bit at all? It doesn't feel like I can. So I guess we'll just uh, head around. I can punch things. I can use a whistle of some sort. And I can also s center the camera behind me. And that really seems to be about it. But uh, let's see if we can find anything around here. There's nothing up past the dolphin over here. Although there does seem to be a little stump here. Interesting. Let's keep looking around. Oh, what do we got? What is this? A 
A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. I mean, it's definitely not the onions we have on my planet, but whatever. Uh, so one thing I can do while the seed uh, waits to drop is I can actually break these stems down just by punching them. I do know this. Olimar is not completely useless on his own, but the problem is, is he can't actually carry them back himself. To where they're supposed to go. The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. Ah, yes, the thing that all video game protagonists are compelled to do. Look at this little guy. Oh, he's so cute and derpy. Got one heck of a schnoz. Extraordinary! When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pick Min. Not a Pick Man. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must uh, research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it with A, then throw it in the direction I point, and I will call it to my side with B. Hmm, perhaps it will react to C. Can you imagine that... Like, like, if that's how biologists actually behaved, like, ah, this new creature, let's pick it up and throw it and see what happens. Um, oh, there is actually a zoom. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So it is the it is the pads. Can I zoom out? Well, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. I, I promise I won't keep it this way the entire time, but uh, that is actually a huge help. So let's throw you there so we can do that. And let's see. Uh, definitely don't want the top-down perspective. But I'll be zooming out every once in a while, especially when enemies are around, which I don't think we have to worry about here in the little tutorial section. Astonishing! The onion has sown more seeds! The small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting down the flower appears to be some type of food that could propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study the strange life form more. Well, we will do that, but let's go grab that one next. And while you take that back, I'm going to wait for these little guys to bloom so I can pull them as out as well. There we go. And then it looks like we should have five now while we wait for them. Let me zoom out a little bit here and see if there's any other things for me to grab. As these guys, they kind of lag behind a little bit, but it, they're, they're, they're getting there. They're trying their best. I did not mean to do that. So yeah, try not to pick them up uh, or, or try to pick them up too early or end up just throwing things. Okay, what do we have here? Is there anything I can do with this? Um, there is... Is this the button that I can do the thing with? That No, that was it. Okay, so hold on. We need 10 Pikmin to be able to get through this. So I got to go find more somehow. Oh, here we go. This pellet requires five. So why don't we throw them all over there? Now, I know one of the big benefits with playing on the Wii is that you can actually direct your Pikmin all the way across the screen. But on the GameCube, there was much tighter limits on how far you could direct your pointer, which obviously does have... An effect that is a big issue. If you can't reach across the screen, it makes the game harder to play. So that's one of the nice things. There is one big caveat, though, and I'll talk about it when we run into it a little bit later on. We're not going to deal with it right now, though. We should be good. So let's get all these Pikmin out. And I think when I start to pull them, I can just hold down A, and then it picks out each one. I mean, I think it actually said that in the text, and that I wasn't. I just was skipping through it. But uh, oh, maybe not. I thought, I thought that was the case. Nope, nope, never mind. Or maybe there's like a something, maybe I have to unlock that little feature later. When he, when Olimar's like, man, pulling these out is difficult. But all right, now all of you come over here. Now I swear there's a direct button, isn't there? There is, yes, okay, it's down on the D-pad. Well, let's uh, direct all of you. Nope, you're with them, little guy. Push that box out of the way. And not just out of the way, but into the way of something else that I can take advantage of because we're going to make a bridge. And we're going to use that to get a whole lot more pellets, but also maybe something more? I don't know. We'll find out. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. Hold your best to pick sprouts, press A to grab Pikmin, release the throw, press B to call them, C to dismiss, down on D-pad and point to command, control the group, use Z and up and left and right to control perspective. I should record this on my computer and blah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we got it all, let's call them all to me. And oh, that looks like a part. That's just straight up the engine. 
Hold on. That's probably like the most important part of all. Amazing. There's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me. But how will I get it back to the dolphin? Well, that's a good question. How many is it going to take to bring it back? It looks like... 20! So we definitely need more Pikmin than what we have available at the moment. So let's uh, have each of these... Well, he already grabbed it. We'll kind of send each of these guys out to bring these pellets back. And then I'm going to throw another one there as I rotate the camera around a bit. Looks like there is one more all the way up there that I can get. And I thought I saw another flower over by the engine, but maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, it's up there somewhere. Hold on, let me see if I can get to that. So everybody, bring your bring your things back. We'll have a whole bunch more to pick here in a second. Let me see if I can just hi -ya! Get it. There you go. That's a good 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 little boy right there. Good little thing. I guess the Pikmin are genderless, are they not? All right. So let's start pulling these guys out. Now once we have, I think we're gonna end up with more than twenty from all of these pellets combined, which is fine. But I think as soon as I have twenty, I'd like to gather them all up and just immediately go get the engine and then I can pick the rest while they take them all back. So what do we got here? We got 12. Yeah, okay, we got 23. So just, yeah, it's only a three Pikmin difference. It's not really a huge issue. Well, let's start pulling them out. There we go. Oh, here we go. When many Pikmin seeds sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get it all done at once by repeatedly. Okay, it's repeatedly. Well, fine then. I guess when you start the picking animation. Notice that when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flush with bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give up a dim glow. This just basically means that they're with me in the group or not. If they're pale, they're not with the group. If they are colorful, then they are with me. And it is very easy to accidentally abandon them because they are not the brightest and they get stuck on things frequently. But let's uh, head on out of here as I zoom back out. And let's just... Uh, I mean, I guess I might as well just direct them all to carry that. Come on, all of you. All to the engine, please. All of you. Every single one. Perfect. Okay, 21 will do. The rest of you, come with me. We're going on a mission. And by a mission, I mean we're walking all the way back to the dolphin, waiting for them to show up. And possibly checking to see if there's anything else around here. What? Oh, that's the sparking from the thing. Hey, here we go. There is actually another pellet up here. So why don't we get that? really quickly. So there was a reason for me to take you over here. And then I can round off this day with a nice, neat 25 Pikmin, which I feel like is a very solid number. And then I think once we get... Oh, don't block him! What are you doing, dude? Frickin' everyone's cutting each other off today. First the asteroid, and now this. Alright, come here. Stop looking up at the onion. We got more Pikmin to pull out of the ground once they decide to sprout, although I'm sure the engine's going to get there before. Yep. I figured. I love how that just seats itself on its own. Oh, yeah. Wait, am I not going to be able to pull out those last two? I mean, it's not a huge deal. It's just going to be kind of funny. Oh, glorious. With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. All right, yep, I guess I can't pull those last two out. Good thing they're in the ground, though, which I believe means that they are automatically okay. Now, one of the mechanics here is that if you leave your Pikmin abandoned anywhere... Um, and they're not either directly under the onion or, like, well, yeah, directly under the onion, then they are going to get eaten alive. But if you have them on your person or you actually put them back in the onion before the night's over, they should be fine. So, off we go. And that's going to end the first day. One day since impact, I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface. Or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on pl planet Hokotate. Now this shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How convenient. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the key to my survival, I'll name it the Forest of Hope. I'll explore it 
tomorrow. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this first episode of Pikmin. Thank you all so very much for watching. Now, given that there's only one episode of this series a week, I do feel a bit bad about making these shorter. I'm going to try to cram in as much as I can, but it's looking like we're going to get one day per week just in their entirety, which, I mean, it's not the most because these days only amount to about 15 to 18 minutes, but it's at least a meaty enough episode to kind of bookend it with a, a nice beginning and ending. So with all that said, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Next episode, next week, we'll be heading into the forest. I hope I hope you're looking forward to that, and I will see you all in the next one.